Welcome to Masks with Animal Crackers part two. So in our last video, we talked about how the animal crackers with the mask on had a lot less virus or coffee on them than the animal crackers that were not wearing a mask and just kind of, they both were exposed to the same exact amount of coffee, but one of them got a lot less on them. And this led us to the really good question of does having more of the coffee or more of the virus in our cells, in our body, does that affect like how sick you get? So, you know, what is the mask really preventing? Because we're saying, oh, the mask is actually going to keep you from, you may still get sick because it's not perfect, but it could help you become less sick because you're exposed to less virus. These animal crackers that were wearing the mask were exposed to less coffee. Now let's see what's going on inside your body when you get exposed to these things and why being exposed to less is really helpful. So here we have our animal cracker and this is the one wearing the mask. So the pink particles are going to be the virus, the coffee, and the blue is gonna be our initial immune system, because we have many stages of the immune system and I'm gonna make a whole video series all about that because I don't think it's known very well and I think it's something that could be easily understood and it should be understood. So we're gonna dive into that. But if we see here, we have some viral particles that made it through, but there are a lot of blue particles. That initial immune system, that level is gonna stay the same. Like we don't make, you know, that, our blue is our constant basically. So once your body recognizes like, oh no, we have these viral coffee particles that are here and they're gonna start replicating. Those pink particles, they're gonna start having babies like a sap as soon as they get in. So the goal is who can win first? Can the body's immune system defeat most of the viruses and kind of keep them in check? Or are the viruses gonna win this battle and are they going to take over the body and are you gonna be like down, laid out on the couch or worse, having to go to the hospital with this virus? In this mask wearing penguin, we have the viral particles. There's not as many of them since they were wearing a mask, they were exposed to less, less virus got in. There's not as many of them as our initial immune system. So it's pretty likely that we're gonna end up with this scenario. The blue wins. Our immune system is able to keep the virus at bay for now. And then a whole bunch of other immune systems gonna come in and it's really gonna clear things up, but it looks like our immune system won. Now, what if you're not wearing a mask? Here, we're starting with our non-masked penguin. And this per penguin has so many viral particles that it's, it's pretty overwhelming for the body's immune system. And after our initial battle of a day or so, this is what it's gonna look like. Those viral particles, you know, the immune system is harmed while it's working and it's just, it's not gonna win. So in the end, it does matter. The more viral particles that get into your body, the bigger a battle your body is going to have to do with its immune system. If you have any questions, leave them below and um, stay tuned for our immunology lessons.